if you don't know Susan Huffman, uh, you have missed uh, somebody who will, in my opinion, get nominated for Woody's Little List uh, because her energy levels are incredible. You haven't left yet, have you, Susan? No. But you've got a nice background with that mountain scene. Uh, so uh, Susan and I sat down in her office and said, can we do this? Can we get this technology done? Can we get this work done? And uh, she's too easy. She says, of course. Uh, and she put storybooks about nature on all of our trails. She called up and she said, I got an idea for you. And it's happened. Uh, so these things are incredible. But uh, Susan, uh, branch manager, James Madison Regional Library, Jefferson Madison Regional Library, uh, we're probably very lucky to have Susan. And uh, she has committed in writing that she will not leave. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Susan, without further ado, and, and by the way, all of these, go to the next slide if you would, all of these slides are gonna be part of the PowerPoint. So we don't have time today to be able to read Susan's bio and background, but we, we will. It will all be uh, sent out, but please, welcome Susan. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I, I wanted first to I'll first thank you for having me. Um, I, and I want to talk first about the Blue Ridge Life and the Nelson Life and the index there and the scan documents and then just briefly about the resources that we have available at the library. Um, even though we are over that way on the other side of the county, we would love to have you. Um, you are a citizen of Nelson County. You have, you, your, your citizenship alone offers you access to so much. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Well, let's take a look at what we have. It is on our website and this is how you get to the index and the scan copies. So, okay, it's right after that. Oh, no, okay. So here's how you'll do it. You will go to JMRL's website. Um, and once you get to that website, there, there will be some, you will see branches at the top. Once you do that, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna find the Nelson County branch. And when you get to our main page, you will see all the activities that we have going on. But if you look over to the far right, there will be an index to Blue Ridge Life and an index to Nelson Life. Um, then right underneath it there are your scanned copies. You'll pull up the index first, take a look through it, see where you need to go, and then you will refer that to the, to the uh, document itself and be able to look through that. We're still tweaking that index a little bit. We're still working on that, making it so it's an easy searchable document. Hold on with us, keep coming back to it because sooner or later you're gonna see some updated information about that and you're gonna see that um, you're gonna have some steps that you can go through and you'll have something that looks more like a search engine that you're used to. So we're evolving as this evolves. But right now the information is there, it's a little wonky, but I think you'll manage it just fine. So after that, we want you- Yeah, I'm sorry, something just happened. Okay. So right there. Okay, so I think we're, are we good? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That's all right. So, as I said, please come over and visit us in Lovingston. We have expanded the library recently. It is a huge, beautiful facility now for you to come and visit. We have meeting room space there. We have study room space there. Because we're part of the Jefferson Madison Regional Library System, you have access to over half a million print copies of, of different kinds of things. You also have access to e-books and e-audiobooks, audiobooks. You have a streaming service called Canopy that you have that you can log into. Uh, we also have Wi-Fi hotspots. We have park passes. We have museum passes. And in addition to that, we also have outreach things that we've started, like the two-story walks that we have here. We have one at Spruce Creek, a small one for children, and then a large one at the Camille Trailhead. Uh, both of them are nature kinds of walks. Both of them have nature books that children can read with their parents as they go through step by step. And at the end, there's a brochure with activities and more information from the library as well. Uh, we have just started a partnership with the Nelson County School System where we visit them and they visit us on a regular basis. 
Um, we hosted two literacy nights two weeks ago. We had 125 people on the first night, and on the second night we had 75. Uh, we took the children and did activities with them while the parents worked with the teachers. It was a very, very successful evening. Um, in addition to that, we have some things coming. We have purchased an outreach vehicle and we're gonna be able to come to areas of the county where there are pockets of people and bring some of our services. It's not a book meal it's as such, but it will be services that we can bring to you. Uh, we also house part of the Nelson County Historical Foundation materials and they come once a week to help people with their any type of genealogy research. In addition to that, we have lots of Virginia research and reference materials as well as state reference materials. Um, lots and lots of great local things, not just Nelson County, but Amherst as well. And coming very soon, be on the lookout, uh, we're getting ready to host a Dolly Parton Imagination Library in Nelson County uh, for the children here. Of course, that's a library for children ages zero to five. Um, and what they do is they sign up and they get a free book every month until they turn to the age of five. Um, now, people say, well, that's free. Well, yes, it is, no, it's not. Um, there has to be some fundraising because we have to pay for the, the be able to be the shipping part. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library actually pays for the books itself, but we have to raise enough money to be able to fund the shipping part and all of that kind of thing, and then the general, uh, uh, but it's a, because of the children here in Nelson County, I think it's well worth it, well with all the efforts that we put into it. So please come for a visit. My staff and I would love to have you.